Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this week's Random Camps. As ever, Silver Bunny has been very busy trying to find some interesting builds for you. And in this video, I'm going to show you what she came across. Now, I do apologise for the pace on this. Um, when this actually comes out, I'm going to be trapped in London with very little time to get the top five done. So I'm just going to smash through it. Anyway, with all that being said, let's crack on. Alright, first up we have the Shallow build by Marathon King 5 and this is actually on with the second Xbox build we've ever featured. That's not because we don't like you guys, it's just because we've only just had access to um, to the Xbox platform. Professionals, through and through. Um, yeah, <laughs> so the camp. The first thing I'm noticing is the walkways. I really do like them, they've got a nice bit of curvature to them. Yeah, they look properly sweet then. Looks like you spent a lot of time actually putting them together as well. I can appreciate the effort. The camp structures themselves, they are quite simple and they're obviously done in the scrappy style, but they look pretty sweet. They do work with the build. They fit in with Wasteland nicely. Now on the decor front, uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more in here, but it, it's, you know, functional, I think the word is. You can see his ammo storage and stash boxes and whatnot. It's got everything a guy needs to survive in the wasteland. Or a gal. Marathon King, not a bad job on this. Cheers for letting Bunny film it. All right, next up we have the office build by X dash X X boots X X dash X. Y you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of X's. Now, for any of you who watched a stream a couple of weeks ago, you'll recognise this build. But for those of you who are wondering what the bloody hell is this, it's just a concrete block. Don't rage quit the video this second and tell me how shit my content is these days. The magic of the build is on the inside of this thing. Come on, I'll show you. Let's have a ganders. Mm-hmm. Yep, simply, simply lovely. What Boots has done here is recreated the TV series, The Office. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I've watched it and pretend that I know if this is accurate or not. You guys are going to have to do that in the comments for me. All I know is, it's a pretty awesome looking camp. I, I do like this. Um... Whether it looks like the TV office or not, it looks like an office in general. Now, yes, granted, that's not my first choice of camp build, but it's cool. I, I can appreciate the effort that's gone into it. I can appreciate the amount of planning it must have taken. And it does look spot on, to be fair. Boots, you've done a cracking job on this, and you get extra TNG points for being from the north as well. That's always a bonus in my book. Thanks for letting Bunny film it. Camp number three, we have the modern living build by Icy Wayland. I see all land. I see Wayland we're going for. Job's going to have to be a good one. So, names aside, this camp actually looks all right from the outside of it. I'm not a massive fan of the tile wallpaper. I never have been. But it doesn't look too bad here. The camper overall is rather pleasing to the eye. I think the best way is to describe it. You know what, actually? That looks very familiar. I'm sure I did a build similar to this a few years ago. I could be wrong, but it does, you know, it has aspects of it. And that's not a bad thing, by the way, guys. I upload tutorials so people can, you know, recreate the builds. But either way, wallpaper aside, it is an half-decent looking camp. There is some trickery here in the form of the offset walls. Not too difficult to do, but it does give a nice effect. Uh, yeah, overall, like I say, exterior-wise... Not bad, not bad at all. Now, onto the interior. Again, the decor, yeah, it looks all right. It's your typical modern house kind of style. Very clean, very functional. The kitchen's really nice, I must say. And to be honest, as a complete structure, yeah, this is, this is a pretty decent camp, this. Thank you very much for letting Bunny film it. Camp number four, we have the retreat build by Stevie Boy. And we actually stumbled across this in, um, again, another stream a week or two back. The first thing I'm going to mention is just how difficult it is to build in this location. Doing shit under bridges other than, you know, being a troll is quite difficult. Stevie Boy has done an awesome job with it, though. It actually looks like it's part of the environment. If you walked over the top of this camp, you wouldn't notice it were here. It is, um, yeah, properly immersive, actually. It matches in bloody lovely, it does. I'm actually rather impressed with it. Now then, interior-wise... It is very well decorated. Again, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more junk, especially in the crafting area. But as an overall spectacle, it is really nice. It's uh, properly fleshed out, especially with the clean aspects of the build. That's Bob on, that is, to be truthful to you. Can't fault it at all. Stevie Boy, cracking job with this one, mate. Thank you very much for letting Bunny film it. Honestly, properly impressive camp, this one. You've knocked it out at part, pal. For our final build, we have the New River Pavilion by Keys Disease. And again, this is another Xbox camp. Now, let me start by telling you right off the bat, yeah? 
This location is not easy to build in. It's one of the most difficult in the game in terms of pre-existing locations. What I've seen most people do who have built here is put false floors in. Now, I'm not sure if Keys has done that. It doesn't actually look like it, to be honest with you. But either way, false floors are not right. It is a kick in the dick to uh, put your camp down here. Believe me when I say that. I've tried it. So the outside of this thing, it looks fantastic. You've done an amazing job at transforming that pavilion. I like the amount of junk you've got going on around it. It does have that immersive feel, but it's also quite clean as well in some weird way. It's quite a strange mixture of two styles, but it works well. Yeah, this is uh, very impressive from the outside. And like I said, guys, bloody nightmare to build here. Let's take a look at the interior. I'm intrigued about them floors. Right, truth be told, I can't actually tell. It does look like false floors have been put in here. However, I am seeing some picnic benches visible. The, the, the main problem with this spot is the picnic benches. If you try and build in here, you've got two options, really. You live with them or you cover them up. Now, I can't be 100% sure if that's the ones that are there or ones that Keys has put down. Either way, you cut it right. This is a really well-decorated build. And look at that roof. That pavilion has such an amazing roof on it. In all honesty, where well, you're right, I think that's the main attraction of this place. I know it sounds daft, but it's just so unique. And the view's awesome as well. I'm not going to lie to you. Keys, you've done a fantastic job transforming this. I like the building itself, but my favourite part of it is the decor. You have absolutely killed it. Once again, thank you very much for letting Silver Bunny film it. And with that, guys, that wraps up this week's randoms. Again, sorry I've had to fly through it, but I am really, really pushed for time this week. Uh, these train strikes are killing me. As we say in the north, I'll love you and leave you, and I'll catch you next one. Have fun, everybody.